Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware number 44390. This is a residential tubular lever. They call it a lock set, but it's it's not a lock set, it's a passage. This is what the packaging looks like, so when you purchase this, it's really prepped for retail type of display, and we're going to remove it from the packaging and take a closer look at it. Let's do a dimensional tour of the item, and then we'll go over the uh, extended description information down below this video. Very nice quality type of piece of hardware from Ultra. And that saying generally goes hand in hand with the name Ultra. So what you're dealing with here is a tubular style construction lock set. Uh, and that is just a reference to the construction of the lock where the uh, the spindle portion literally passes through the latch bolt. Okay, This is a passage set, regardless of the fact that it says lock set up above. This is a passage, something that you would use on a closet where there's no privacy function whatsoever. Very nice quality looking lever in a dull chrome finish. Okay, nice quality spring action, relatively inexpensive for what it is, but a good quality item, there's no doubt. Let's take some basic dimensional properties, and to do so, I'm just going to split the two pieces apart. This would generally be considered the exterior of the opening, because the holes for the screws would be on the inside, where the screws will go through the rosette, and then back down into the tapped holes on these posts, which we'll go over in a moment. Overall projection of the hardware from the face of the door. Looks like it's about two inch. Diameter of the rose appears as it's a, it's about two and a half inch. Two and a half inch rose diameter. Center of the lever to the end of the lever is about four and a quarter. So you're going to be at about five and a half overall from the end of the rosette to the end of the lever itself. Dimension from the back side of the lever to the face of the door, we can kind of gauge that on the camera as well. Right at about three quarter inch would be my guess. Okay. Uh, that's a visual dimensional tour of the business end of that hardware itself. Now let's take a look at the latch bolt. And inspecting the latch bolt, we can see that we have the capability of doing this at either two and three eighths or two and three quarter and that's accomplished by depressing this lever right here and it will allow you to shift the latch bolt in and out for two and three eighths or two and three quarter type construction okay and when that lever goes in you can see how that works that's an example example of tubular construction. The, this faceplate dimension is going to be two and a quarter inch tall. One inch wide. And will feature those radius corners that are there. You can insert a screwdriver underneath that plate and pop that radius corner off. And use the included optional square corner strike. Uh, pardon me, latch face, should you need that. Speaking of strike, you're also going to get a couple of options with that as well. You'll get a full lip strike, and a full lip strike literally means um, that the strike has in a, uh, the entire face of it has a lip function on it. A full lip strike. You'll get it in both square corner and radius corner. These are two and a quarter inch tall. The overall width is about an inch and three quarter. The dimension is really measured from the center of the screw hole to the edge of the lip, and strikes like this are generally about an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and three sixteenths, maybe inch and five sixteenths. Then finally, you're going to get all the screws that you need, and you should only need six. Two for the body, two for the latch, two for the strike. That's it, six screws. Um, installation instructions are there and are linked to down below this video. 
So let's take a stare at the installation instructions, see if there's anything important. First of all, having the hole properly drilled uh, is part of the installation. This is going to take a typical 2 and 3 8 latch uh, back set, uh, pardon me, a 2 and a 2 and an eighth inch, a 2 and an eighth inch hole drilled through the door. From the edge of the door to the center of that hole can be 2 and 3 8 or 2 and 3 quarter. If your door is beveled, be mindful that the back set is actually measured from the from the uh, center of the door and not from the high side or the low side of the door. If your door is beveled, you don't measure it from the high side or the low side, you would really measure it from the center of the door, which you obviously can't measure it from the center of the door. But if you're measuring it on the if the door is beveled and you're measuring it on the pull side, well, you're really just going to deduct, you know, or make I should say make the uh, accommodation uh, to that hole where you're really going to be measuring the distance to about a sixteenth of an inch greater than what you really need it to be because you the door is beveled and you're measuring it from that high side. If it's two and three eighths from from here over, you'll be more like two and seven sixteenths from the high side over to that hole. I like using a hole saw for drilling this. I would go partially halfway through and then allow the arbor bit to breach the other side, then come around and do the other side. Mortising for the edge, a router is really best. Um, hammer and chisel obviously is going to be very typical. You'll end up using those radius corner uh, latch and strike faces, latch face and strike plate if a router was used to do that mortising uh, and its quarter inch radius is the important part of all of that um, because they will have used a half inch drill, uh, half inch router bit to do all that preparation. So looking at the installation instructions in English we're dealing with only the first column. Mark the door, cut out the template and cut out the template. Yeah there's a template included which is going to be uh, a paper template. Uh, which will be folded up in those installation instructions. But if it's not, you know, uh, it's two and an eighth hole at two and three eighths or two and three quarter. Uh, drill your holes, your two and an eighth inch hole, and then a one inch hole in the edge. You can get away with something a little bit smaller on that, by the way, but a one inch is what it says. Install the latch bolt first after you have confirmed that it fits in well by hand, that you can depress the unit and then test it and make sure that everything works freely. If anything is sticking or not working correctly, it's probably binding somewhere. Maybe the hole's too tight or not drilled straight. You want to mitigate that before you continue the installation. Um, attach that. Be sure to pre-drill those holes for the screws. You don't want to split the wood on the jam or the door. That would make for a poor installation at best. Um, the strike will go onto the frame. You do your chiseling, whatever is necessary. If you're, certainly if you're doing a new installation. And then again, it's simple. The exterior portion goes in, the spindle goes through the, la uh, through the latch bolt itself. The interior portion comes in, two screws, don't over tighten it. Make sure everything works real smooth before you leave and most certainly that it latches. Uh, it's actually physically latched to the jam. Make any adjustments necessary at that point. If you have any questions specifically about how to chisel, mortise, drill, install this lock, feel free to reach out. I have plenty of experience doing that. The description down below uh, this item states that you're dealing with a dull chrome grade 3, meaning standard duty residential, uh, light duty uh, lock set. The, uh, the design of the lever is called a briar wood. They say that it's ADA compliant, so that's good. Be very appropriate if you're a landlord or if you're building uh, a hotel motel scenario. Will work on doors inch and three eighths to inch and three quarter thick, and is completely non-handed and fully reversible. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the uh, ultra hardware products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Ultra Hardware, they're part number 44390, Briarwood style, uh, in a dull chrome lever passion set or any other Ultra Hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.